my channel. Today's video will be on this holiday inspired makeup look. For this look I did a really dramatic gold smoky eye and also a bright red lip. I just think it's a really festive look and it's really appropriate for Christmas and the holiday season. If you'd like to see how I created this makeup look then please keep watching. Today we're going to start with the eyes and I'm first filling in my brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the colour Chocolate. I'm applying minimal product to my brush because I want more of a softer, structured brow because the eyes are going to be quite dark, I don't want the brows to look overdone and I'm using this Anastasia Jewel Sided Brow Brush to fill in my brows. Priming my eyes with MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot with a Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer Brush. I'm doing the eyes first for this look because I'll be using a loose glitter pigment and darker eyeshadows. So any fallout under the eyes I can clean up first before applying the face products. I'm taking Makeup Geek Beaches and Cream Eyeshadow on a Morphe G26 brush and setting that eye base. This will allow eyeshadows to blend easier on the lid. I'm using some sticky tape for a different method of applying the eye makeup today. Firstly you want to remove some of the stickiness from the tape, I press it onto my hand a few times. I place the tape under the lower lash line on a 45 degree angle going up towards the tail of the brow. This will make sure your eye makeup is completely even on both sides. I'm picking up orange soda from Anastasia Beverly Hills on a MAC 224 brush and blending that above the crease as a transition shade. Applying a lighter shade in the upper crease allows the darker colours to blend out easier and create a gradient effect of dark to light going upwards towards the brow. Taking Burnt Orange from Anastasia on a MAC 217, I'm applying this more directly in the crease. This brush is perfect for getting right into the crease area and is more dense than the 224, so we'll apply colour more deeply to the eyes. Using this sticky tape method will give a really sharp wing shape to the eyes, which looks great with more dramatic eye makeup looks. Going in with Anastasia Sienna on the same brush, I'm intensifying the crease colour some more. I'm going for more warm browns on the eyes to really enhance the gold pigment I'll be using on the lid. Going in with some more of the burnt orange shade, I'm just blending out the crease some more. Taking Makeup Geek Mocha Shadow on that same MAC 217 brush, I'm applying that more directly on the outer corners of the eyes to darken up the look. I wanted the eyes to be quite a dramatic dark smoky eye so I'm picking up this black shadow from Makeup Geek called Corrupt and applying that quite heavily on the outer corner and using the edge of the tape to create a wing shape. Taking a clean 224 I'm blending out the edges of all those shadows so there is no harsh lines. Now for the star of the show I'm using this Sugar Pill Gold Loose Pigment called Goldilocks. This has to be the most intense, beautiful gold colour. I absolutely love it. I'm spraying my MAC 242 brush with Fix Plus, then dipping into the pigment and pressing that all over the lid. Using a synthetic brush with loose pigments and pressing, rather than dusting the colour on, will prevent a lot more fallout. Spraying your brush with Fix Plus will intensify the colour of the pigment and give a metallic foiled finish. Once I've packed that colour on the lid, I pick up more pigment on the brush and press it on top of the wet look shadow and this intensifies the colour some more. Picking up some more of the burnt orange colour and blending out the crease some more. I wanted to do quite a dramatic wing liner for this look. I'm using the Inglot Gel Liner on a MAC 266 angled liner brush and drawing a line straight along the lid, staying very close to the lash line. Now this is where the tape comes in handy. For the wing, I can simply trace a line along the edge of the tape and build up the thickness I'm happy with. You don't need to worry about drawing a perfect wing as the tape will catch any excess messy liner 
and when you pull the tape off, ta-da, you have a perfectly sharp, crisp wing liner. I'm using a makeup wipe to clean up any fallout from the gold pigment. For mascara, I'm using this Benefit Roller Lash Mascara and applying a few coats to my top lashes. For lashes, I'm using these Coco Lashes in the style Coco. I wanted to go for some more dramatic lashes, but nothing that would completely cover the eye makeup, so I thought these lashes were perfect for this look. Now that our lashes are on, we can move on to the face makeup. I'm priming my skin with the Too Faced Hangover X Primer. My skin has been fairly dry lately, so I wanted to use something that was extra hydrating and this one was perfect. I'm smoothing that all over my face, then using tapping motions to make sure all the product is absorbed into my skin. I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation today in the colour Sand and taking a Sigma F80 Flat Kabuki to press that into the skin. This foundation contains coconut water, so it's very nourishing and I definitely needed that today. Pressing the foundation into the skin with this Flat Kabuki brush gives such a flawless, full coverage look. I've been loving using this brush recently. Seal under my eyes, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Creamy Beige. This warm toned colour will counteract and conceal dark circles under the eyes. This concealer is amazing, it's full coverage but a very thin consistency so it blends out really easily. For the price of $3, you really can't beat it at all. To highlight my face, I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in Light. This is a more yellow tone concealer, so it will brighten up the areas of the face we want to look more brighter and vibrant. Under the eyes, forehead, centre and sides of the nose and the chin. Using a Morphe G2 brush, I'm blending out all those areas. This brush is so great, the hairs are dense and compact and it presses the concealer into the skin without absorbing too much product, so you get a really good coverage. Setting all those highlighted areas, I'm taking this banana colour called Lyric from the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette on a Real Techniques setting powder brush. set the rest of my face, I'm using the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder on a large MAC 135 powder brush. To 
to bronze up my skin, I'm taking the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Bronzer with a MAC 168 angled contour brush and sweeping that along my cheeks, temple and forehead. add some extra bronzed glow to the skin, I'm using MAC Gold Deposit and blending that all over my cheeks. I wanted to keep the skin looking bronzed and glowing, so I didn't want to use a bright blush that would conflict with the darker eyes and red lip. highlight I'm taking this BB liquid illuminator from Gerard Cosmetics and applying that to the tops of my cheekbones with my fingers. To add some extra glow, I'm taking the Becca highlighter in the colour Champagne Pop, which is a beautiful soft gold, and using a Morphe M501, I'm applying that right on top of the cheekbones to make them pop, and applying some of that above the brows, down the centre of the nose, tip of the nose and the cupid's bow. Now to finish off the eyes, I'm taking MAC Feline Coal Pencil and running that along the waterline. To smoke out the lower lash line, I'm taking Burnt Orange on a MAC 219 pencil brush and running that right underneath the waterline to blend out the black pencil. Then going in with Sienna on a small MAC 221 blending brush, I'm smoking out the lower lash line further and bringing that down a little bit lower. Taking Mocha on a MAC 212 flat shader, I'm pressing that right underneath the waterline to darken up the look. Then using Corrupt on that same brush and pressing that right in the outer corner to add a darker, more dramatic finish to the eye makeup. I'm using Nylon by MAC to highlight the inner corners. I wanted a really bright inner corner highlight and Nylon is the perfect soft light gold highlight shade. I'm adding some Benefit Roller Lash Mascara to the bottom lashes. Using Anastasia Brow Gel in the colour Brunette, I'm setting my brow hairs in place and then the eyes are complete. Moving on to the lips, I'm lining my lips and filling them in with MAC Cherry Lip Pencil. This is the perfect holiday red lip liner shade. I'm taking Dose of Colours Merlot liquid lipstick and applying that right on top. These liquid lipsticks by Dose of Colours have to be one of my favourite formulas. They dry matte but feel so comfortable on the lips and aren't too drying. To finish off the look, I'm spraying MAC Fix Plus to add a dewy glow to the skin. final look. I really hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I really love the way it turned out. The gold smoky eyes I think are just so beautiful for 
pretty much any event all year round. I usually like to go for more of a smoky eye when I'm going out to dinner or anything like that or even to a club so I think the eyes would be perfect for that and you can definitely pair this look with more of a neutral lip if you like. If you don't want to go too crazy or too dramatic and do a red lip like I've done, you can definitely wear a more nude lip colour with this eye look. So any colour would definitely complement this makeup. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.